Welcome back everybody, my name is Maxwell, it's more Game Dev Tycoon, and without too much pomp or circumstance, we're just going to jump straight into it. So where were we? What had we just done? I don't remember, because it's been a while since we played. Let's have a look, what have we just released? We've just released King's Requiem Medieval Adventure on the Mbox 360, and it sold okay, but it didn't get particularly high scores. I think that was a sequel, so... Oh, Rings of Eternity just did phenomenally well for us. Superhero action RPG did shitty. I have no idea. Uh, surgery action strategy game. Right, well, we've got a little bit of research. So I think what we'll do is we'll get some training done. And we'll train people in research. Because I don't... Ah, oh, he's got quite a high research already. We'll find someone with a lowish research. He's got a high research. Rena, how's your research? Still pretty good. What about Kyle? I think everybody has pretty good research. His is quite low. So, we'll get some research training done. Uh, grown well? No, I don't want to move yet because it's quite expensive even though we have 94 million. I want to get another good game under our belts. Uh, before we move. Right, so we'll get this training done, and then we'll work on our next blockbuster, which, let's have a look, game history. We haven't done a simulator for a while. So I think we might work on that next. Maybe a sports simulator, something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that might be a good idea, a sports simulator, or maybe a flight simulator. If we've got that as an option. I'm not sure we have, so... I think I'll spend the next couple of months training everybody in research just to get uh, a few more research points so I can get the Boosh Engine 6 underway. Uh, because let's have a look. What Because I'm sure we've got quite a lot of research in the pipeline to do. Cloud saving, dynamic environment, voiceover, body language, advanced body language, surround sound, soundtrack. Yeah, we've got quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot to research. Uh, I think we'll take a large booth this time. And I think we will develop a new game. We'll make it medium, because I don't think we can get away with making a large yet. Let's have a look. Evolution, surgery, hospital, superhero. Should we make theme hospital? A hospital simulator? Space simulator? Space simulator might be an idea. Yeah, we'll do a space sim. Uh, simulation... We'll put it on the... Oh God, everybody's losing market share. We'll put it on the PC, because that's the kind... Boosh Engine 5, we'll call it... Uh, to the Stars. With some capital letters, I think, to make it look better. To the Stars, medium game, space simulator for the PC with the Boosh Engine 5, 3D graphics version 3. Let's, uh, let's get to development. Right, let's have a look. Story and quests, not important whatsoever. Gameplay, very important. So we'll take, we'll have a linear story, no cutscenes. Can we get simple cutscenes if we take linear story out? Is it a simulator? Do we need? We don't really need cutscenes, but then again, we don't really need a linear story, but. Alright, engine, save game, multiplayer, we'll have a steering wheel in there. Yep, that looks good. I'll have myself on gameplay, Brian on engine, because he's the tech guy. And Ricky will do the story and quests, even though the story and quests are non-existent. Right, let's get developing. In two months, the new will be taken off the market. Uh, for fans of the Mbox, the long wait for an update to the console will soon be over as Micronoft has announced that the Mbox Next will be available later this year. The new console seems to cleverly integrate Micronoft's own motion sensor add-on for the Mbox into one small package. Yeah, right. <laughs> the strength of the hardware seems to match expectations. Okay. And quite a good amount of points up here for uh, To The Stars, our space simulator. Let's see if G3 can build us up some more hype. Right, let's have a look. What are we doing? We don't need dialogues. Fantastic level design. Pretty good artificial intelligence. Uh, we'll have AI companions. Uh, dialogue tree. No, better dialogues. Yes, so the dialogues that we do have will at least be good. 
Kyle, you can do the level design. Can you? No, I think we'll have Rena on the level design. Kyle, you can do nothing. We'll have Brian on artificial intelligence. Uh, those sliders look pretty good. To the stars. Let's see how it's received at uh, G3 in our large booth. A space simulator. Very niche game. But we shall see. Uh, oh, position 59. Oh, God, these guys need a vacation right in the middle of development. But the hype's up. The hype's good for this one. Let's see where we can get this bad boy in the end. So it looks like we've timed this one nicely to coincide with G3. Right, world design, sound and graphics. Now, do I like where these sliders are? Surely for a simulator, the world needs to be designed pretty good. Graphics not so important. Actually, graphics are going to be pretty important. Ah, now you see all this stuff. We don't need a virtual economy. We need a day and night cycle. We don't need a rich backstory. We do need an open world. So let's uh, let's make this one ridiculous on the graphics. Sound. That's a simulator, so it's got to be accurate at least. And we'll go with that. We'll see if that works. Uh, Ricky is doing the world design because he's the design guy. Kyle doing the graphics because, again, I don't know if that's based on tech or design. Probably a bit of both. And Rena, you can do the sound because you always do sound. <laughs> Seems to be going good. The hype's pretty good for this one, even though I think it's probably going to release and it's probably going to be a pile of crap. Uh, new is no longer supported. I obviously didn't release any games for it because it's awful to develop for. 310 hype, a crap ton of bugs to work out, but uh, we'll get those sorted. See if we can get a few more points before this thing has to release. Decent amount of research as well, I'm happy with that. Let's let these points pile in a little bit more, and as soon as the hype starts to drop and we don't have any bugs, we'll get this thing released. Yep, yeah, there we go. New record on the technology front, which is good, because that's what we kind of want with a simulation, although popular genre is action. Uh, who wants a raise? Ricky and Rena. Special training available for Rena. Uh, Bush Games has grown. No, not yet. I'm quite enjoying this technology park, to be honest. First reviews of To The Stars are in. No, it looks like we're not going to break into the simulator uh, market just yet, as we only scored sixes and fives so far. Uh, fun at stages, so not too bad. A very average game. Uh, oops, no, I don't want to train you. I want to send you on vacation. Uh, I do want to train myself in... I think that's it, research. Train... Innovation. Oh, I've trained myself in the wrong thing. Uh, innovation challenge. So it's not doing too badly. It's sold 100,000 copies, so 1.2 million sales so far. Rank 75th, so not fantastic. Uh, today, the new game platform Mbox Next by Micronoft has been released. Right, let's get you training on some innovation challenge. And we'll get you on some innovation challenge. So I want to get these guys a couple of bits of training on research. Uh, market is normalised before we go ahead and get another game released. Uh, we just got word that two of the stars recently sold half a million copies, yes. Uh, we'll get you some more training. Innovation. Uh, we'll send you on vacation. We'll train myself in... See, I don't really need the research, so... I don't really need anything, to be honest, but I'm going to go ahead and train some speed, methinks. So I'll have a round of innovation, of uh, research training, and then maybe a round of speed training. Because the numbers seem like they're pretty good on these guys. Uh, you need another, another round of innovation training. Same as you. To be honest, I'm kind of tempted just to release a piece of shit game that um, that some that's something that we've never done before. So it'll be a, some kind of combo that we've never um, never released before, just to get the maximum 
uh, what words am I looking for? <laughs> just to get the maximum amount of research points and then just bin it. Bin it off, never actually release it, just for the research points. So that's the only place we're really hurting. We've got lots of research and uh, haven't haven't got the points to do anything. Right, let's get some more time trial training. More speed training for you guys. There we go. That leaves us with 17 research points. Uh, to the stars is off the market. It sold 758,000 units, generating 8.3 million in sales. So even though I didn't think it was particularly good, it still sold well, which is nice. To be honest, RPG is is our go-to, so I think I may release an unusual topic RPG just for shits and giggles. Send you on vacation. Uh, Bush Games has grown well. No, I still don't want to move. I'm quite happy in this technology park because it's not costing me a fortune. Although now might be the time to sort of man up and uh, and get out of here. <laughs> Hire a couple more staff. Uh, in two months, the Mbox 360 will be taken off the market. I'm sure we've released some of our biggest games for the Mbox 360. Uh, pretty sure. Let's have a look. That was for the Mbox. That was for the Mbox. Sold 77 million profit. That one. <laughs> that was bad, Bushman. So I think, yeah, I think it may be time. I'll tell you what, I'll release this game. Uh, today, Vony has announced that they will release their long-awaited new console, the Play System 4, in two months. The console is the last of the new generation consoles to enter the market and seems to do everything the Play System 3 did, only better. Uh, we think that there is hardly a risk of Vony fans being disappointed, but we will see how the new console will fare against its competitors. Indeed, we will. So, yeah, I think it may be time to bite the bullet and move to a new office. So, I think what I'll do is I'll get um, I'll get another RPG developed. I'll have a large booth at G3, please. Um, we'll get another RPG developed. The Mbox 360 is no longer supported. You've released three games to the platform and earned a total of 98.2 million. So, we'll develop a new game. Uh, let's have a look. We want an RPG, but what kind of RPG? A sports RPG? A racing RPG? Could that work? Aliens? Ninja? Have we released an alien game? A detective? Yeah, a detective RPG. Don't think I've done one of those before. And if I have, it's just because it sounds like a good mix. Right, let's have a look. The Mbox Next has got 12% market share. Yeah, I might as well buy the license. Um, we'll use the Boosh Engine 5 and we'll call it... What shall we call it? What is it? It's a detective RPG. Do I want a second one? No, I don't. Uh, a detective RPG... Called... Hmm... This is the hardest part of any game ever is... Deciding on a name. Let's have a think. So when you think of detective, what do you think? You think of Sherlock Holmes. Um, and that's it. So that's pretty much it, Sherlock Holmes. So we'll call it Sherlock. Yep, that'll do. 3D graphics version 3. Let's get on. Detective RPG. Right, let's have a look. Story and quests, most important. Engine and gameplay, not so much. We want all of those things. Uh, we'll take the steering wheel off. Tiny bit more on gameplay. There we go. Actually, we'll drop the engine down a bit more. So that's branching story, advanced cutscenes. Ricky on the story. Yep, you're looking good there. Uh, myself on gameplay and Brian on the engine. That all looks good. Let's see these mega points come in. Ah, you see the fans have heard we're doing an RPG. And the hype is already building. So this is pretty much what our fans are with us for. Uh, they are the RPG guys. This is what they want to see. So we'll take the game to G3 in its early stages of development. 
and let people get a hands on and let them see what it's all about and see what they think. Uh, oh, position 57, we're moving up. 150 hype, wow. That's, uh, that's getting up there. Right, let's have a look. Dialogue's most important. Uh, artificial intelligence, not really, but I would like... No, we don't need AI companions. Screw that noise. Uh, level design, we'll get that way down as well. We'll have a dialogue tree. Uh, we'll have myself on dialogues. Ricky's going to sit this one out. Rena, you're more experienced than Kyle, or are you? Ah, it's 50-50. I'm going to put Kyle back on level design. Uh, Brian can stay on artificial intelligence. Those sliders all look good. Let's rock and roll. Wow, that is building nice and quick. I want to break all of the company records with this one. Today, the new game platform, Play System 4 by Voni, has been released. So I want to break all company records with this game. I want to break the design record. I want to break the hype record. Probably not going to break the technology record. Particularly well the new topics at the moment. Uh, detective is new. I don't think I've done detective before. World design, please. Uh, graphics. Take you down to 90% and sound. To 90%. We'll have a virtual economy and a rich backstory. Uh, Ricky is going to do world design because he's the design giant. Brian, sitting this one out. Uh, Kyle can do graphics and Rena can do sound because she always does sound. And that looks good to me. Let's get cracking. So yeah, I don't think I'll break a technology record because let's face it, RPGs aren't really known for their technical innovation. Uh, I'm, I'm hopefully going to break a design record. Oh, look at those numbers. Look at that hype. 451 is unbelievable. I wonder if I can get away with releasing just RPGs with lots of different topics. Because uh, I seem to remember if you just if I released another detective RPG after this, it would get, no matter how good the points were, it would get pretty bad ratings because people would just say I'm just rehashing and cash cowing. Uh, which is probably true, to be honest. There probably is a bit of cash cowing involved in that. New design record and that's a new hype record. What's leveled up? Story and quest and that's it. Uh, immersive storytelling. Uh, Boosh Games has grown well. Uh, do we move? No. I'm going to wait till the sales come in for this game before I decide if I'm going to move or not. Right, let's have a look. Story and quests. Yeah, we always invest a lot in story and quests so I'm going to research that. We'll get Ricky to research... Have a look. What else do we use? We always put a lot in level design, do we? No, we don't really put a lot in level design. Um, but we do put a lot in dialogues. So let's get some voiceover. First reviews of Sherlock are in. What's it like? Nine. Good balance between tech and design. And eight from Informed Gamer. He loves it. A masterpiece by Game Hero. They give it a ten. And very enjoyable by all games, giving that an 8. Fantastic. Let's see what that does to the sales. Holy shit. <laughs> that sold 1.5 million in its first week. Uh, it's only rank 6, though. I'm sure I've sold less than that and gotten to rank 1. I suppose more games coming out these days. So he's completed voiceover. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is Sherlock by Boosh Games. The character dialogues in this game are just outstanding. Rarely will you be so captivated in a conversation. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Uh, you now have 250,000 fans with such a big base, you should be able to self-publish large games, really. Huh, well, maybe. I'll tell you what then. We'll send these... Oops, I don't want to train you. I want to send you on vacation. We'll send these guys on vacation. Uh, these guys can do a little bit more research training. And then next time the offer to move premises rolls around, uh, I think I will go ahead and take it. Eight research. So we'll get you some uh, game dev gems. Pretty sure it's around about month two. In two months, the play system three will be taken off the market. So it may be time to... Just got word that Sherlock, which was recently released by Boosh Games, racked up over five million in sales wonder how many more it will sell. I'd quite like to know that as well. So, wow. Look at that. Six million. So, I think it may be time to move to a bigger office and hire a couple extra staff. 
with uh, 158 million in the bank and our new focus on pretty much just RPGs. Maybe throw an adventure game in there every now and then if the fans get sick. Uh, it seems that the market has normalised again with no particular strong trends at the moment. So let's wait around for Ricky's offer. Play System 3 is no longer supported. I obviously never released a game for the Play System 3. Uh, not sure if it happens at the same time every year because I'm sure it was around about month two where Ricky said we should really move. Sherlock's off the market. It sold 6.9 million units, generating 76.8 million in sales, which is fairly ridiculous. So yeah, hopefully it's the same time. Yep, grown well, blah, blah, blah. Yes, let's move. Let's pay 8 million and move into our new corporate headquarters. Welcome to the new headquarters of Boosh Games. Uh, we now have more space so we can increase the team further, which is exactly what I'm going to do immediately. Uh, we're going to pile 2 million into looking for some new staff. Uh, just your new headquarters, not too far from our university. We are just about to start a special course about game development and could really use your help. Unfortunately, we cannot offer any pay, but we think you find that teaching students about game development will be great exercise to refine your own skills. Greenheart University, new training options available. Okay, actually, let's just take a quick look at those. Uh... Teach and learn. So it's expensive and costs a lot of research points. So, But I'm guessing it'll be better than the G3 Cup. Uh, this office is amazing and the location is perfect too. I took a walk around the building earlier and had this radical idea. Why don't we open up our own research and development department? This could really speed up our research and would allow us to attack bigger projects and innovations. It wouldn't be cheap. But I think it would allow us to be the leading innovator in the game industry. Yes, you're probably right. Anyway, I've done some research. I think we should open a lab and hire a whole team of researchers. Before we do this, however, we should have at least one design specialist in our team. Uh, you need a design specialist to open a research and development lab. You can train someone to become a specialist via the training menu. But the option is only available once they have a certain design skill level. Okay. So I think... I don't really think we can afford a whole research and development department just yet, but uh, we can afford some new staff. Ooh, Philip Fesh, you are pretty uh, pretty good there, Philip Fesh. Design technology looking good, but the research is low. Design, I think it's going to be Philip Fesh to be honest. Let's hire Philip Fesh, and we'll get another member of staff in here quickly uh, we'll just bite the bullet and we'll get all of our law uh, efficiency bars out of the way at the same time wow I've seen some pictures of the new office cutting edge stuff I'm sure you're doing very well but I but if you need to top off top up your budget I have a couple of big jobs that need to be taken care of large contracts are unlocked so I think what I'll do is I'll wait for all these bars to fill up and everybody to like each other Who's this? Bradley Warner, looking good. Carson Cox. Oh, terrible speed. He's, just, he's good, but he's slow. Uh, Daniel Mullins. Wow, that is a technology expert, but again, slow. Peter Polynox. Is that like Peter Molyneux? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, hiring Peter Molyneux. Damn right. Uh, we'll get you some staff welcome training. We'll let everybody's bars fill up. And then uh, we'll get on developing our first large game. So just going to let these bars... Oh, God, this is going to take a while. Do I want anything at G3 this year? No, not really, because it doesn't really do anything for me. Because I don't have a game out, and I'm not going to be releasing a game this year. Uh, not going to be releasing a game until next year. So just... Oh! Looks like she actually needs a vacation. Sorry about that, Rena. Nobody else need a vacation? Nope. Okay. Now, it would be good if I could get everybody synchronised on the same vacation schedule. So that basically I can develop a big game and send everybody off on vacation. And then uh, have them come back ready, refreshed and raring to go on the next project. So research points are pretty low at the moment. It seems that the market's responding particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. So it looks like we're going to do a 
new topic RPG, something that we haven't done before. But again, we're going to have to wait until the year rolls around, just so we can uh, catch G3. So I think what we might do is do some contract work just to keep one a little bit of money flowing in and keep these guys on their toes. We don't want them uh, getting rusty in between development. Because they're going to be sitting around for a long time uh, between development of games. So we want to keep them sharp and keep them well practiced. And I think after this large game, hopefully, I should have enough research points to be able to uh, research everything that's needed to get the Boosh Engine 6 up and running. Oh wow, that is a lot. Can I do this? Four weeks? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to risk it. It looks like we're probably going to do it, which is nice. Decent amount of research out of that. Which is what we're after, really, the research. Uh, the money's just nice to stave off. Uh, having to pay the upkeep. I don't really see contract work as a legitimate way of really earning money in this game, unless you've got a very small team in maybe the office before this one. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, this is nowhere near enough to pay monthly costs. We're still losing money every month. It's just uh, offsetting it a little bit, and again, just keeping these guys on their toes. Oh, I don't want to publish a deal. Uh, because I have enough fans to self-publish publish large games, apparently. There we go. That's all the contracts done, so it's time to just sit around for six months, wait for G3 to roll around and begin development of a new game. The market probably won't be responding to new topics by the time that rolls around, so I can probably make anything any kind of RPG. It might be worth doing a fantasy. Actually, I'll do... Oh, looks like you need a vacation. You need a vacation. Now, can I let these guys wait around a little bit and see if I can sync them up with other people who need vacations? As I said, it would be better to get everybody to go on vacation at the same time. Uh, Dave Johnson here, CEO of Departure Science. Some of our test subjects were recently exposed to some of your games, and surprisingly, they didn't go totally insane. They seem to quite enjoy the experience. In fact, anyway, I have some products that need advertising and could do with some product placement. Uh, my marketing boys tell me that making you this offer is a bad idea, but that's exactly why I want, want it. I'll pay you 200k to place some of our fine red painted exploding barrels in one of your games. What do you say? Uh, no. No, not really. Sorry. I'm about to make an RPG and red exploding barrels aren't really going to fit with that. I have a feeling I've missed out on an opportunity there. But, well, we'll catch it next time. We'll get the red barrels next time they roll around. Right, so that's three people needing a vacation now. I think that's the best I'm going to get. So... Send you off, send you off, and send you off. So we've got three of them synced up for vacation time now. Uh, the market has normalised again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Oh, no, you need a vacation. So there's four people synced up now. Although we've only just hired Philip Fesh. And he wants a vacation already, which means that Peter Polynox is probably going to want to go on vacation soon as well. Yep, there he goes. So that's almost everybody. Everybody except Rena basically is synced up for vacation time now, which is good. That is excellent. <clears throat> right, there we go. We'll get a large booth at G3. Nobody's seen anything out of Boosh Games for a while, so we're about to blow everyone's socks off with... Let's have a look. What was our highest rated game? Fantasy RPG, Rings of Eternity. Do we want to make a sequel? I think we do, to be honest. But what do we call it? Well, that's... Uh... Right, there we go. Select Rings of Eternity. Make it a large game for everybody. Fantasy RPG on the M-Box next. Which has still got the biggest market share, which is good. Ooh, 
PC's coming back strong, which is uh, nice. But our last one was on the M-Box, so this one's got to be on the M-Box next. Engine's still the same, though. I could really do with a new engine. Uh, what do we call it, though? The last one was Rings of Eternity, so we'll call this one... I'm sure I've called one Legend of the Rings. There's a lot of rings in this. Uh, let's have a think. Am I overusing the rings? Or are the rings what's selling it? Uh, what is it? Rings of Eternity. So let's have a think. Uh, War for the Rings. That will do. It's all in the name. We shall see. Right, let's see if I've got a good enough team to develop large games. So it's an RPG, so story and quests already is the most important thing. Um, we'll... Oh god, it looks so... It looks like one person will be done after... Yeah, one section. I, I'll do gameplay, Brian on the engine, and he'll do the artificial intelligence as well. So the sliders... Well, actually, we lost... We didn't get top marks last time, did we? Now that's as good as I can make it because if I put these sliders down anymore, Ricky will get overworked. So... Yeah, I guess we'll have to do that. Right, let's go with that. Points are flying in. Oh, development's a lot slower, so it looks like we're going to be able to get a lot of points. So, fingers crossed, we can get another double company record. Right, let's see what people think of War of the Rings. First time we've developed a game in two years after mo and the first game after hiring new staff and moving to a new office. Is that a is that a million people? I think that's a million people visited the booth. Uh, but only got us up to 100 and something. Well, last time we got 150, but we placed quite high in the uh, people's choice of booths. Right, let's have a look. Artificial intelligence. Like these things. Better dialogues and dialogue tree we absolutely want. Level editor and easter eggs. AI companions, can we get that in without increasing it too much? I think we can because this is a large game. Level design we can bump down. And dialogues. Right, who do you want in dialogues? We'll put Philip Fesh on dialogues. Wow. Okay, we'll put a little bit more into level design because of we don't want to overwork him. Kyle, what are you doing? You're doing level design. Uh, yes, you are. And Brian, you can do the artificial intelligence. That all looks good. Let's move on. So the hype's building nicely. I'm pretty sure our maximum hype is... Now let's get some marketing done, actually. We'll go with a large marketing campaign. Oh, nice. It's building up nice and quickly. I think our previous maximum hype was about 450, so I think we're going to smash that record. Uh, I think we're going to break all company records with this one, to be honest. Let's have a look. World design maxed out. Sound, we can probably afford to drop a little now. And graphics. Put them just on the edge. We'll get Peter Molyneux on the world design. Uh, increase the graphics a little bit just to keep Peter within 100%. That all looks good. Right, who's doing the graphics? Kyle, you're doing the graphics. Rena, you're doing the sound. Peter Molyneux doing the world design. Let's see if he can pull this one out of the bag for us. That all looks good. Looks like Rena needs a vacation, so it's going to be a while till we can sync her up with everybody else's vacation. Uh, let's get some more marketing done. Uh, Two million, yeah. Seems fair. Look at all those beautiful bubbles. Wow, so I was hoping I was going to break some company records and my Jesus Christ God have we broken some company records. I think our previous company record was about 400 and something design and we've now broken 700 and nearly 350 on technology. So we haven't just broken the previous company records, we've absolutely demolished them and the points are still rolling in. Uh, to be honest with this hype we can probably afford to let the points keep rolling in, we discovered a last minute bug. Right, let's get that released. Look at that. Bonus good management. This is ridiculous. Everything leveling up. So let's get this bad boy released. 
Kyle and Brian want a pay increase. Special training available for Kyle. New research, online play and cooperative play. Let's send you on vacation. Let's get some research done. Will it be enough to get the Boosh Engine 5 released? Probably not, to be honest. Uh, dialogues. Should we bother? No, we'll not bother with simple body language. We'll skip it and go straight to advanced body language. Kyle will get you to research. What have we got left? We've got 145 points left. Level design. Oh, di uh, do we go with dynamic environment? Dynamic environment sounds good, to be honest. And I'll save those points for staff training. Right, fingers crossed. The first reviews of our newly released game, War for the Rings, has come in. Let's see how it does. What was that? It's an 8. Played it for days by Star Games. That's not bad. 7. Beautiful by Informed Gaming. No, it's not as good. Great sequel by Game Hero. And more, please, from all games. Let's see how the sales go. It's sold less than a medium game. So, to be honest, we're probably best off publishing medium games, except that generated a shitload of research. Uh, and now it's actually sold over a million there, so that's just racked in 10 million. Uh, so, seems to be selling quite well. Actually, we're actually making profit, which is good. So I think we'll get some staff training done, get everybody on vacation, and then get ourselves a new game. I think we'll depart from RPG ever so slightly for the next one, and probably get an adventure done. Uh, a weird topic adventure game probably seems like a good idea because they sell quite well regardless. I think we'll put it on the PC as well because uh, we haven't developed for the PC for a while. So we're going to call that uh, call an end to that episode now. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to stick a like down at the bottom then. Put a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you thought and give me some ideas for weird topics that I can make an adventure game for. So thanks very much for watching guys and I will catch